Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Marie Callender Savory Swedish Meatballs Bowl. Um, it, has, it has Swedish meatballs with freshly made pasta tossed with sour cream sauce, which sounds really good. This one is a 11.5 ounce meal or 326 grams. Looks really good. We bought these at Meijer. They were $2.79. Not too bad. Tyler actually recommended that I try these out. He said I hadn't tried them out on the channel yet, and uh, he said they're really good, so thought we'd try it out. 460 calories for the whole meal, the bowl. And here's your calorie information, your other information for you. Again, looks really good. I love this good Swedish meatball meal. So we're gonna um, cook one meal at a time. They're frozen, of course. It does not have oven directions that I can see. So we're gonna cook on high for three and a half minutes, no need to vent. Stir and recover, and then cook an additional one to two minutes. I'll probably do halfway to 130. Check that food is hot, thoroughly cooked, and all that good stuff. If you pull your thermometer at work, you go for it. There might be some people who do that. I don't know. No pull tab on this one, so I have to fight with it. There we go. Ah, there it is. So no venting or anything like that. Just stick it right in there, and uh, I'll be back in just a second. Hey, so here it is out of the microwave. Let's give it a good stir. So it looks like you get one, two, three, four, five. You get six meatballs. That's pretty good. And I'll probably cut them in half. So it's a good 12 bites of meatball. So I'm going, it smells really good, by the way. So I'm going to get this over to the plate and I'll be back. Or over to the table and I'll be back. All right, gave it just a minute to cool off. So I'm going to try one of the meatballs first without the pasta. Try to get the one with the least amount of sauce I could. It has a sausage-like flavor, which I really like. It's not spicy at all. It does remind you of the sausage, maybe a, maybe sage or something. I don't know what it is, but it reminds you of a sausage flavor. It's it's a little dense, which a lot of meatballs are, but it's not it's not mushy and fillered like a meatloaf is. So, you know, you put breadcrumbs or something like that in meatloaf, it makes it kind of soft. Um, these are firm, like they're they don't have filler in them. And let me try the pasta by itself. With sauce, of course. Mm. The pasta's cooked perfect. It's, it's egg noodles. Um, is egg noodles a pasta? I don't know if it is or not. Probably not. Um, they are cooked really well. It's got a firmness to it, but it's not it's not mushy, but they're not hard either. They're just a little firm, which I like. Um, the sauce is a really good um, mushroom kind of sauce. Uh, mushroom gravy sauce. I like mushroom gravy anyway, so it, it's got that good flavor to it. So let me try both of them together. Big bite. I'm pretty sure that was a whole meatball. Um, I like the flavors combined. They um, they really go good together. That that meaty sausage flavor in the meatball uh, tastes really good, and that uh, mushroom gravy with the pasta tastes really good mixed together. It's a really good flavor. I like this quite a bit. I don't know what they could have done to make it better. Honestly, it's got good flavors to it. It's got good seasonings. They're not uh, overwhelming. They're not spicy or hot. So if you don't like spicy food, you'd be fine with this. The um, the amount of food you get is pretty decent, and the price is pretty good. Yeah, everything goes good together. So I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 5. Thank you, Tyler, for recommending it to you. I, I really appreciate you doing that because uh, recommending meals to me is always a good thing. If, you've, if you know some that I haven't tried, I always do a search on the channel just to see because I've got so many of them. But, um, but yeah, thanks for recommending it, and I hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.